Okay. It's darker. This is where I used to live. There's three peaks. Remember those three peaks are? Beep, beep, beep. I used to live up over on Cedar City on the other side of town. But it's sunset. It's 5.30. I made really good time coming down. I don't get it, man. It took me seven and a half hours to get from St. George to Logan. And it took me two hours to get from Provo to here. Which is pretty good. Uh, the speed limit's 80, but I go 75. See, so, see that? That's kind of, I don't know, those are big dumb houses. Uh, yeah, I'm still on the wrong side of town. If you look there up on that mountain, you see that hill, and you see that, look at that big church looking thing. That's the Cedar City Temple. There's like, I don't know how many, 20 something temples in Utah alone. But they're, you know, see every spire, there's like a bazillion spires. But there's one corner or one intersection where there's a Mormon church, a Catholic church, a Lutheran church, and a Jehovah's Witness. So some people would say two cults and uh, whatever. Two cults, a uh, Catholic and a whatever, walk into a bar. So that's what that building is that's over there. And that's kind of, my, see this? See, can you see that? The mountains there? That's what I saw out of my back window, my backyard and the, you know, dining room window was, that was my view. I had no houses, no obstructions, it's just that. And I lived back up over, it was a new development back in 2005 or 6 when I moved in. And it is not now. It's tempting to go look, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not that I, I, it has nothing to do with the ex-wife. That was just like, yeah, that was a chick I was, you know, you know in my life and now she's not the thing that kind of gets to me is that she well that she you know left when i was in a coma took my money and my house lost my house for me conveniently lost the house she said that uh, i don't know what she's getting told too many damn stories I don't believe anything. But anyways, I so just by having getting in an accident and going into a coma for three months, I lost my house and a big chunk of my savings. So that really that knocked me back a decade almost. But whatever. So up there there's a big there's a house up there by that church there's a big house when we moved up here it was for 550 yeah 550,000 it had 11 bedrooms and the downstairs was like as big as a freaking troubadour it was amazing it had a bar but it was you know for soft drinks and and candy and you know crap like that and it, oh, I wanted that house so bad and we could easily afford it because I was making you know buttloads of money we could have paid that one off in three years but uh, eh, whatever that one I would have fought for look at see they're building more they just build 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 Let's see if the old, uh, where she used to work is still here. I can question them if I... No, I think Exit Realty went under. That's the real estate uh, company she worked for down in Valencia. And then she got a job up here. And she was very good at it. I helped her get all of her friggin' licenses. 
California license, Utah license, Nevada license, Colorado license, Idaho license. So, were those dang ugly, were that big ugly motel? Oh, back there, that's where I live. Back up in that development. And, well, so that's, that's where I used to live. That's all new and ugly. Wouldn't be happy with that. So they've overdeveloped, and I, I'd kind of be mad, but hey, I'd have a house up there still. And then down here, I bought a few acres, but I don't know where the hell it is. And I stopped paying taxes on it a few years ago when I wasn't thinking, and I doubt I own it. So here, let's listen to a, this is Randy Rose in Chicago. Just the, just the solo. I'm gonna listen. <laughs> Time to go pee. I mean, you know, drum cell. Time to pee. So there you go. So you get to hear little Randy. I think I've posted this. 
Chicago. I mean, he played three areas, three places in the Chicago area. So it's kind of hard to pin Chicago down. But I know this was the big show that uh, record companies were going to meet there and exchange stuff, contracts, and this is when Jet was going to, you know, CBS was going to buy out Jet. And, uh, yeah. So I know it was a big deal because I, this guy, everybody knows him, he's full of crap. But, you know, he's always going on about he uh, knew Randy and Randy gave him this, Randy gave him, or he never knew Randy. He never took lessons from Randy. He never, nothing. I think he was in love with him. <laughs> but anyways, this guy's girlfriend worked for Jet Records. And her friend, who I, uh, worked for Jet Records. But the girl, this guy's girlfriend, and I don't think the only reason he went out, like, hooked up with her was to, you know, because she, I mean, she's very cool. Very, very cool chick. And I'm still in touch with her. And she gave me the whole lowdown on how she, this is, so she was flying to this show. And she got all the stuff. She had the master tapes for Diary, Blizzard, and three live shows from the Blizzard to Ur on in the U.S. in 81. In the can. All in the can, mastered, live, ready to go. So think about it. How many live, official live recordings have they released? Tribute, that live album, the Ozzy Live, which is a just junk from the Blizzard tour. And uh, the one they threw in that box set where everybody was hoping it was going to be new Randy stuff and all we got was polka dots on the side of the friggin' box set. So those are the three and that's it. She ain't, she ain't putting out nothing. And then when I put out stuff and if anybody says anything, go to hell. I've got every show but like three or four I don't know what it is three or four so every show Randy played from the beginning in 80 to the end in 82 I have I put them up instead of like one big splunk like I did with the Kalamazoo one you know because that one you know got to like 5,000 6,000 views whatever and stopped because I know damn well everybody knows how to download this shit now. Oops, sorry. This stuff. So as soon as this thing came out where everybody could download everything, it no one bought it anymore. And I'm telling you, I don't need the money. I give the money to the scholarship fund at uh, CSUN. The Randy Rhodes Scholarship. There's actually two now, but... You know, so I just give it to the one at CSUN because that's where my uncle, uh, I think, taught last or whatever. He's a professor of uh, like trigonometry and physics. Oh gosh, I can't remember what it's called. Fried froth. It's uh, not the. Uh, it's uh, whatever. He's a professor. So, anyways, he the last place he. I think he retired from, but he taught at UCLA, USC, everywhere, and he still gives lectures, and you look him up, Harold Ravitch, uh, Dr. Harold Ravitch, amazingly smart man. Anyways, so, when I bought, when I sell the Randy bootlegs, I give the money to the scholarship, and last year I gave, like, a lot. I'm not going to say how much. But all I was charging was for shipping, which is eight bucks. And uh, I would get like an extra ten bucks. Or it depends on who, you know, the person and what they wanted to pay. Some of them were so desperate to have that recording. And see, you if you notice, I said the highest quality. When I put it up there, it was at the highest, you know, 
quality that you can put. What is it? One eight, uh, one eighty or, or uh, ten eighty or whatever the hell it was. Whatever it is, seven twenty is the next. I brought, I dropped it down to like four twenties. Why should I give away the high? You know, a really high quality. And people are like, well, why don't you post the best ones if you got? Why should I give them all away? I've had all I've had these bootlegs since 83, 84. 82, 83, 84. I've I am I've got, you know, a guy gave me three really good, you know, recordings uh, as a trade kind of for the Kalamazoo and the Clemsford uh, England cuz I got a excellent recording of that. And it's not a soundboard, but it's it's amazing. And Ozzy calls Randy, you know, you know now you know when he's introducing him for a suicide solution, he goes, he calls him gay, so it's funny. <laughs> but it's a great, it's a really good sounding uh, bootleg. So I sold that to that guy, but he was in Japan, so it kind of I got nothing, and I'm told him like dude at least like 10 bucks so I could donate the 10 to the scholarship and he you know I didn't tell him about the scholarship so he just sent me three bootlegs I thought that was cool uh, so there you go there's your Randy there's more just the sunset this is what a really a real western sunset looks like without smog or anything and there you go. I love it up here. I wish I still lived here. I will live here again. All right. It's still the. This is the day nine. Yes, day nine. Uh, Thursday. Yeah. Whatever. November. Whatever. 2020. The worst year ever. The worst year ever. I thought 94 was the worst year. And then I thought 2009 was a bad year. No. I'd rather go through the both things that I went through in those two years, which was the, the wreck. The wreck was easy. I was in a wreck. I was in a coma. Comas are easy to get through. It's coming out of them and <laughs> learning how to eat and drink and speak and all that crap. But all right, blah 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 blah. See how many minutes did I just blow there? Uh, eleven. All right. So I hope you like the the solo, but I'm pretty sure this one's posted already. Chicago. Not sure what date. It's just. And if you were there, which one? You know, this is the one where Randy was having uh, trouble with his mic or his mic. His uh guitar input so it's going bang. so if you remember that tell me which uh, well, I think I know because it's the one that that girl went to because she flew from here she was supposed to have all the masters but her boyfriend the guy that's all over the internet that lies about having you know checks and stuff and all that crap that Randy gave him why would Randy give anybody canceled checks <clears throat> no he wouldn't <clears throat> what they were were checks that Randy was owed by the record company and his girlfriend was flying all this stuff out to Chicago and to give some to Sharon and whoever I think uh, Ran Sharon's uh, brother was also helping with that tour and then she was gonna go from Chicago to London and give Don Arden, Sharon's dad, all the masters. But Sharon showed up with the cops and took the masters. And that's how she can gain control of the empire and didn't pay anybody any royalties. She kept them all for her and her fat, soon to be husband. <clears throat> So there's your Ozzy and Brandy and uh, some Utah, and now I'm going down Black Ridge. I'm signing out. Later.
Yeah.